Hey, so I wanted to explain um, the selfie exposure project a bit more um, out loud. Um, so I'm going to do that in this video. Um, I kind of decided to do this piece because I had been thinking a lot about um, likes and why I... Um, like I like I had been thinking a lot about even just like how a Facebook profile picture would get less likes than a picture I would post on my wall um and and just like really really silly things that I feel like everyone probably thinks about but doesn't want to talk about because it sounds really stupid to talk about how many likes your photos are getting um and so I was trying to figure out the equation for a successful um, selfie in terms of social media responses to it. Um, not so much like how successful I thought it was that I looked attractive or thought it was a good picture of me, etc. Um, but more in the terms of like, what do I think the good, the best selfie will be? on um online in terms of what other people's feedback is um and so i was thinking a lot about that and i was thinking does the camera matter does the does the place matter does it are selfies really going to get the most likes or photos of you that taken by your friends going to get the most likes other people in the photo does that affect um the like the like likeitude or whatever um, and all sorts of stuff. So I was thinking about that and then I was thinking about how I don't really um, post the same photo. I mean I take tons and billions and like oh my god so many photos of myself every day um, and I probably post like one out of every 50 if not e probably not even that. Um, so I sort of wanted to um, examine the way that I post to social media as well because I sort of um, curate my selfies based on the social media and generally I'll even take a selfie with a cer certain social media in mind. Um, so as I said um, in the text, you know, Twitter will be something a little more funny. Um, or something that is aided by a caption or is a visual aid with a caption, something that kind of like completes the, the tweet. Um, Facebook is more like self-promotion or if I'm like incredibly bored and I need like immediate attention via comments because Tumblr kind of gives me the same uh, satisfaction, but Facebook I know that my IRL friends are looking at it, so I feel like I post with like their attention in mind um, and so it's a it's a bit different um, and also the commenting sort of gives me a different kind of bu buzz or like satisfaction than a tumblr like or reblog would because I'm not getting any feedback if that makes sense like I'm getting feedback and I'm getting uh, that warm feeling that you get when you get a ton of likes on something but it's not the same um, and Facebook feels a bit more personal in a very strange way. Um, and Tumblr is just like growing more and more detached from you as it gets more and more reblogged or, or liked or whatever. Um, so, and then on Tumblr, I'm going to post photos that are a bit more, um, generally I'm not shy to post photos where I think I just look hot or attractive or anything like that because I feel like Tumblr is the most... Which is weird for me to say because I get the most hate mail or it, like incredibly negative responses on Tumblr, but it feels so um, not real or like not, you know, I don't know these people and they're anonymous, so it doesn't affect me as much. But um, Tumblr is the place where I feel the, the least shy about just posting something that's simply attractive and not needing to be funny or like creative or whatever. Like, oh, I'm really feeling my look today. I'm going to post it on Tumblr. And people are going to be really receptive of it because people just like to reblog stuff like that. I mean, they like to reblog everything, but like Tumblr is just sort of like allows that to um, 
happen in a in a better way. But I feel like if I were to post a hot photo on Twitter or Facebook, people would still like it because I feel like if the content's attractive, people are going to respond well to it. But I feel like it doesn't fit um, the my personality or it doesn't quite like get what I want out of those platforms. So I don't generally do it. Um, and then Instagram is interesting because I kind of only use Instagram to post photos that I've taken on my phone and my phone is very, very bad. And I don't, uh, like taking a selfie on my front facing camera is very grainy and doesn't look good. And so, but people, but the thing about Instagram is that you're going to get more likes just because everyone has to see your post if they're scrolling through Instagram. So, and it's, it's completely image based. It's completely photo based where like Tumblr, um, Facebook and Twitter are not. So inst I found that everything that I posted to Instagram this week, this past week that I was doing the project, um, did really well because it's getting seen. So it, and no one seemed to care whether or not it was taken with the phone. It really irks me when I'm on Instagram and I see, uh, photos that aren't phone photos, like, consistently by someone. I know that seems really stupid, um, but I feel like Instagram is such an app, and I feel like... I almost feel like I need to have this respect for, like, the platform's uh, intended use, which is so silly because that's not actually how I feel, but, like, I feel like if the... the it, it just... For some reason, like, Instagram... I don't understand the point of, like, uploading your own photo from your computer to Instagram. It just seems really backwards to me. But I've also been doing it for this piece, and I have done it before, obviously, because sometimes it's just easier, and I, I hate the way my phone works. But, um... But so anyway, in this piece, I ended up posting to all of the platforms every selfie that I took. And it was, um... It was a bit weird because I got, I felt really self-conscious about it and I felt like I, I was being annoying and I don't even know if anyone noticed because that's not something that I think anyone would pick up on like, oh, Molly's been posting this to all her social media because I feel like that's actually a very normal thing for people to do is to post across all of their platforms at once because it, you know, the, like Instagram lets you post to Tumblr and vice versa and all of that, like sort of is made to go together in a neat little package, but I hate doing that, and I think, um, I think that if you follow me on one social media, you're probably following me on all of the other ones, um, unless you straight up just don't use that social media. So, I felt self-conscious, I felt annoying, I felt like I was posting too many photos of myself, um, I felt like I, I don't know, I just felt really... Uh, awkward about it and I don't know if it did had any effect on the way people perceived me or if it if anyone noticed because I feel like you know you're obviously gonna notice what you're doing more because you're you're you um so I don't know what um what any of that really meant or what any what anyone was um, perceiving me as um I think that people didn't notice and I think it was fine um so, I, th I it was interesting. I, I feel like, um, I won't do that again. <laughs> um, I think that it was just a way for me to work through sort of my thoughts on that and sort of realize that it is, I mean, there is, like, sort of a, um, an equation and I feel like I've, like, figured out the perfect way to post to each social media and what time to post and whatever because... It literally consumes my entire life. And I don't think I'm, like, running after likes. I think that I'm just so aware of it because I've literally been taking photos of myself for half of my life now that it just feels like I'm just so in tune to how I look and how other per people perceive how I look. Like, if I post a photo of myself and I think that people are going to be negative about it, I already know what they're going to criticize me on. So, it, it, I'm, I'm already, like, armed and ready. Like, I don't ever feel confused by anyone's reaction to anything that I put on the internet because I, I've just thought of every possible uh, reaction at this point. And I don't think maybe four years ago I didn't feel that way, but um, now the more that I 
to use the internet and the more that I figure out how to navigate my existence on the internet, it just keeps coming more naturally to me. So I think that if anything, it was sort of like letting go of my like control with um, selfies or whatever, but not so much because I was still curating the selfie that I was going to put on the internet, but it was more so letting go of like where it was going and seeing if it did better on one social media than the other. And obviously Instagram likes everything more because it's Instagram and more people are looking, uh, more people have to look at it. Twitter was about the same for everything. Everything generally gets the same amount of likes. Um, uh, Facebook also like doesn't get, um, the screenshots that I posted to Facebook did very, very well, um, because people, they were a little more, like, engaging with people, they weren't just a photo of me, so you could be like, oh, well, like, great job, or whatever, like, mimicking this person's makeup, um, and then on Tumblr, you know, honestly, the, Tumblr is a bit confusing for me, because I, I assume that the most attractive photos of me are going to do the best. And they generally do <coughs> get the most um, notes, but uh, it's interesting because the screenshot of me as Spinelli got over 2,000 notes, and then the screenshot of me as Kylie Jenner got like 500 notes. So it was very interesting that like the screenshot of me dressed as a cartoon character versus me dressed up as a relevant uh, figure in... Uh, pop culture right now uh, did better, but I also feel like I would have liked, I liked that photo better as well. Um, and then I find that pictures of me just like chilling at home or whatever without any makeup on get like ballpark a certain amount of likes, the same as Twitter and whatnot. Um, and then, and then I never post phone photos to, uh, to any of my other social media because it doesn't make sense to me. But I, I feel like I just had to explain um, why I was why I was doing this a bit more in depth and sort of maybe try and uh, get out all of my ideas about the way that I post to social media. And I, I feel like other people uh, are a bit conscious of this too, and maybe not conscious, but but are definitely sort of uh, employing the same methods I am, or sort of thinking about, uh, why they're posting to what, and, uh, what context that their photo has in that frame, um, because I do think that these, each website frames your image differently, whether, it's very, it can be very subtle, but I think that we sort of know why we want to post to one over the other, and what kind of, uh, special attention we want. Because I think it is about, like, I want a certain type of validation right now, so I'm going to post to this, this, this website versus this website. Um, and I think that posting cross-platform in the end sort of just made me feel not uh, as special. I mean, I was, like, excited, and I was like, ooh, I wonder how, like, this is going to do here and how this is going to do here. Um, but I, I think that, um, that th there's something to be said about curating this for one space. Um, so those are my thoughts.